Hello, my name is Gordon. Um, I'm also known uh, away from the Lisa Lasher School of Music as MC Wizkid. Um, I'm a lead tutor and deputy head here um, and also I kind of help facilitate the day and the things that goes on in the daily running. I also work on a one-to-one -one basis with the young people. I'm quite in a fortunate position in that I develop a relationship with nearly all of the learners. Well, in fact, I, I develop some sort of a relationship with all of the learners. and. I could give you dozens of stories about all of them, if I'm honest with you. All of them go through that change. All of them go on a journey. Some they, some get quicker than others. But if I was to tell you one, I'll give you an, one example. Um, a young lady came to us, teenage lady, uh, very intro introverted in her body language, very unsure of the people around her, wasn't integrating so much, kind of was unsure of the whole thing came to a DJ in session, don't want a DJ, got no interest in this, this isn't for me, I'll just be alright, I'll just chill over there. By the end of the session, not only was she mixing, she was develop, developing her skills, she was understanding the music, and it came to the end of the day, I said, is that it? Yeah, that, we've finished, you've, you've done it. Oh, no. What well, do I have to finish? Yeah, well, we're going to do it again. Well, you promise? Yeah, no, no, definitely. The following day, she was here for two days in a row, the following day she was here early, the person that didn't want to be here, the person that didn't believe in herself, the person that had no confidence with her hood, didn't want to talk to anyone, she was here early so that she could have another chance to, to play with that equipment, to get involved in it. Subsequently, she integrated with the whole group and today has actually bizarrely been her last day. She was very emotional, didn't want to go, very sad to be leaving. So it's though that's what I'm talking about. I could talk about every single learner in that capacity actually. The, the gentleman um, who's into house and techno and uh, he's perhaps an older gentleman maybe in age comes to a hip-hop workshop with me, lyric writing I, I don't have any interest in that, I don't want to do that, I want to learn to DJ, I just want house music well have you ever rapped in French? well no, no I haven't actually considered do you, do you mind giving me a little go at writing a rap in French? so he's sat there and he's gone through it the pride in his face when he dropped his bars in French Give me goosebumps. So that's what I'm talking about. I could talk. I could sit here for the rest of the day and talk about every single learner that comes through these walls that I've integrated with. And it's not just me. All of the team are doing that. That's that's some of the magic. They're doing that on their own. They're making that magic happen in between them, just in conversation. And that's that's what goes on here. The reason I got into being a music facilitator is I wanted to inspire young people. Um, I've been quite successful in the rave scene. I appreciate that some people watching this will have never heard of me or my music or anything like that. But I got kind of big in an underground rave scene and I won several awards and I travelled the world and I got gold discs and I found myself working with pop stars and being business class to Australia and all of these crazy things. But that, if you took all of that away and you round it all the way back, I was just a skinny kid sat in a park with my mates being told I would never make it being told how rubbish I was. I rolled in, I don't want to say a gang is perhaps the stereotype, but I was in a gang. We were up to no good. We hung around and, and to be honest, I didn't think I would ever make it. But every time I got knocked down, I got up and I dusted myself off and then I took myself out of that situation. And I started working the country and going to these different places and it didn't get happen overnight. It took me 10 years maybe of, of dusting myself off before things started to really happen but what all of that taught me right the way up to 25 years of doing it is that I understand these young people who want to be a DJ they want to be a singer they want to be a vlogger they want to be a dancer they want to be the drill spitter or a grime spitter they want to travel America I understand all of that I've been there I felt that and I got into this the reason this happened was not only because I'm a father myself but also because I wanted to stand there and meet these people face to face and tell them you can do it and you will do it and this is how you can do it and I'm going to tell you about all of my failings and I want you to know that every time you get back up you can do it too whatever it is it's in you and I just want to bring that out of people and that is why I got into this and I'm very fortunate and blessed to be in the situation I am here with the Lisa Lashes School of Music because they stand for everything that I got into this for that's all that anyone wants here and and that's that's why when I get up in the morning and I come here I, I look forward to being in this in this space and that's why I got into it. What makes us different here to all the other schools that are going on there? 
I think we are different here and, and the reason that we're different here is be, because we come from a place of purity. We're all very different. One minute you're sat in the studio with BK. Now for those that don't know, BK is a massive hard dance producer. Huge. So, so hundreds and thousands of records. The next minute you're with a techno guy called Joey Riot. He's got a very real career. He's, he's touring Holland. But all of those people, regardless of genre, regardless of that, they've got a very real in-depth experience. There's no smoke and mirrors. You can, you can see their careers pan out right before your very eyes. But more importantly than any of the accolades, uh, any of that stuff, is, is, is what's in here. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And I think within this school, the magic happens in the connection and the bonds and the understanding. And I'm going to say it again, the inclusivity of, of we're a family here and that's what's important.